Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Access. This is the fifth part of my series on how to create a service database. And in this session, we're going to look at creating another report using concatenation. So let's have a look at this one. So I've created a report called customer payment. Just open that, type an invoice number in, and then it comes up with the invoice details for that customer. So invoice one did two jobs, total to pay is £900, and this invoice is due to be paid on the 20th of January 2021. So let's have a look at how I've done this. If I just close this one off. So I created another query. Basically, I copied this query. So previously, we had a query. If I go into design on this one, that I did the invoice number, and that query was based on this report if I do that one so this is where we left it so that was just like a tabular report but the same process you get the invoice amount now I've done it with concatenation and a few different formulas so you can see the difference and it's up to you which one you go for so this is basically just a copy of that if I go in there invoice number is the parameter query and that's how you put them in there with the square brackets and then when you run that it will ask you for an invoice number you type the number in and you get the two records so on this customer payment form if i'm just going to design on this one there's a concatenation for the customer address and some more concatenation for the service details and whether it's vatable or not and i've added an if statement there immediate if statement iif to see whether it was vatable or not and then if it was, I've uh, put amount to pay. And then down the bottom there, I've done some, a sum to add up all the amounts to pay so if there's more than one record. And then there is a formula looking at the service date and added th adding 30 days onto it. Let's just close that. And we're going to recreate that from scratch. So create, report design, and on the property sheet you get it to look at that query query service and then fields now we need to do concatenation here so at the top on the page header you select the a b box and you draw your rectangle you don't need the label get rid of that so you start off with equals and then you're going to go for all these fields, customer name. So you need the square brackets, customer name, close square brackets. And then the join feature that you need to use, the concatenate symbol is the and symbol. So that is the and symbol goes there. And then you want a space, so you need to do a quote symbol. Now I want to come down a line, so I need to do control and enter. And then and another quote symbol, and then another and join symbol because I'm not, I'm now going to join the next field which is address. Close that with a square bracket, and I want to come down again, so I need to do an and sign, and I'll need a space, so I need to do a quote, Control Enter, quote, and then. city with an and sign city close the square brackets for city and then you repeat the process so and quotes control enter quotes now if you miss one of these out it'll tell you at the end if you've done this wrong um i'll just put postcode there so we're not going on forever and ever square bracket postcode close the square brackets so now if you just click away from that so that was okay, like that one. So you just have a quick look at that. Enter the invoice number one and it gives you the details. Now I can get rid of this box, which I will do. So go back into that. Don't want that box on there. So that's um, in properties, format, and you've got border style there, solid, transparent. Don't want it. Then you go have a look again. And then you can see it's now disappeared, no borders back to design. So that's the first bit. 
So now what I need to do is do a group and, group and outline or group and sort using this box to get it to sort by or to group by the invoice number. So I'll pull that down, invoice number, invoice number there. So now I'll go back to my fields and I can bring the invoice number into that one. I'm not going to do concatenate on that, but you could do. You could just concatenate this as well. So invoice number, just push that to the top. And I'm also going to put the invoice date in there as well. Uh, not the invoice date, the service date. You could have an invoice date. It's up to you how you work this out. But let's push that over a bit. Bring this up. And have a look. Invoice number one. Okay, that's all right. Let's get rid of the boxes. So we highlight the boxes. Now to do that, you can just click there and that'll highlight everything. And you go and get rid of border style transparent. Just make sure that's gone. Yeah. So you see the difference with not doing concatenate. So you end up having these big spaces. So really you probably do want to concatenate that as well, but not for this time. Now we're looking at the service details. So onto another AB box, I'm just going to draw it in the middle of the page and get rid of the label. So then I'm typing equals and what do I want now? I'll go back to my fields so I can see what I've got. Uh, I've got the service date. I want the service type. So opening quotes and then I'm typing service type. Do a space and then an and sign square bracket service type so i'm doing this slightly different to the other one service type and what else do i want service type that's about it i think service type got the date service type car type yes yeah, do car type so i'll do and do my little quotes and do control enter to come down Car type, I'll type, if I don't want that there yet, because I'm going to type some text, car type, quotes, and then the and sign, and then car type in there, close the square bracket, have a look, service type 20,000, car type BMW 5, that's okay, get rid of the box. Just move that up there, make it a lot smaller than that. I mean, you could put, if you wanted to do there, you could put miles, uh, 20,000 miles in there, but I'll just leave it like that. I'll just get rid of the, the line again. Transparent, have a look. Invoice number one, and there's the other one down the bottom there, so that's okay. We can come back into design, get rid of all this extra space. I can close the groups down. All this space is what's causing that gap. So let's pull this right up to the top, tight. Have a look. Invoice one, two different services, service type, two different cars. Now what we need to do is work out how much this is costing us. So we go back in there, we need to do another concatenation underneath the, um, in there in the details bit to work out the price. So equals, um, what we're gonna do here, let's put the fields up. We want to know what the um, price of the service is and whether it's fattable or not, and then the amount to pay. So I'll put in there quotes, price of service so this is like the label really and then quotes price of service and then we need to come down a line control enter so now we want to know is it vatable or not so price of service so now to get the vatable bit, we need to do a formula. We need to do an if statement. So if it's yes or no. So we've got quotes there. So we need to 
close quotes and IIF if vatable in square brackets vatable in square brackets is equal to minus one because if it says if it's true it comes back with minus one so if that's the case comma we want it to say yes it is vatable otherwise comma we want it to say no it is not vatable close the bracket on that now just check that we've done that right invoice one yes yes it is vatable they're both vatable so now after that we can come down and do whether we either we do it in a different box or we can do it in this box but we could then put i'm going to do it in a different box actually bring that up a bit just draw another box so you just get another practice at it so it's fatable a b box so this is get rid of the label type equals again so now we just want to put amount to pay so in quotes amount old i'll put and then a glue point square brackets amount to pay close square brackets let's have a quick look at that one amount old 600 amount old 600 at 300 that's correct we can tidy these boxes up in a minute so we need the pound sign in there so amount oi old pound sign so we're going to have a look at that again so it puts the pound sign in there that's okay now we need to get rid of all these boxes and we also need to make them nice and tidy get rid of that space so if i come down this margin area the ruler area highlight those three I can get rid of all of these at once. Border style transparent. Have a look. Invoice one. It's all transparent. There's no boxes. Go back into it. Now, the last thing I want to do is to add this up. So we need to put an invoice footer on. So let's get the group and sort box back on the screen. So you need to click on this option more. Uh, with header without footer we need to change that to with a footer section and then in the invoice footer we need to do a formula that's just going to add up the amount to pay again this time i do want the label actually so i'll just leave that so it's going to be equals sum open bracket normal bracket square bracket amount to pay close the square bracket close the normal back bracket bracket have a quick look 900 300 and 600 900 is correct so go back into design we need to format that to currency which is already there currency so that's now in currency and let's move this box a bit further over what we need to have in this text box, we'll just pull that back a bit, is invoice total to pay. And then we can just adjust these boxes later. Like so. And then have a look. 720 is correct for invoice two. I don't know why I did invoice two. Let's do it again. Invoice one. 900 is correct. We need to get rid of the box. So we'll just get rid of the box. Border style transparent. And then we can get rid of this for a minute. Now, the other thing I want to put in here is the date it's due to be paid. So again, another AB box. And just draw it. Get rid of the label equals open quotes. This invoice is 
due on space quotes and then we want the service date service date or invoice date if you've done invoice date plus 30 days let's say that let's see what that looks like look invoice one 20th of the first 2021 21 that works so that's 30 days after that invoice go back into design move this to the left get rid of the box transparent and then have a look so now what you would do is just sort this out in terms of layout however you want it to look remember we've not got a title on the customer table which is a mistake probably we need to put title on that this is a space we don't need we can put our logos on we can bring all these up to get rid of these gaps i'll just do a couple so you can see what i'm talking about so i can just push that up there click on this and make it a little bit smaller because somebody could have quite a lot of services if it was a company and they use you as a provider there may well be hundreds of services so this is a big box that you don't really need you get rid of that push this up and so on let's have a look invoice one it's a little bit tighter now maybe this needs to be emphasized so i'll just go back in there and make that bold highlight that row Control b for bold you might want to go to format and change the font slightly on that one make it 14 as long as it doesn't truncate let's have a quick look it has done that truncated so i'll just go back and expand those boxes didn't want to do that don't need that one at all like that and that can come back a lot, quite a lot so it's only going to be a small number this can move over there and then just get the large box and separate these off and make that a bit bigger see what that looks like now it's not truncated uh, you might want to color that in and stuff like that and make this bold or focus it so like this bit's shaded if there was three it would be shaded and maybe that one um this box you might want to make that bold just so it stands out and then the one at the bottom last one last thing i'm going to do make that one bold as well and there you go so both ways of doing it are okay um no i did the wrong box bold but never mind it's just totally up to you whether you want it laid out like this or you want it laid out like that with the boxes hidden it's it's just totally up to you but that's the end of this session and hopefully i'll see you in the next one thank you for your time